Hey, what's up everyone? Travis here from letslearndesign.com and today we have a tutorial on how to apply a country flag to the lips of a human being much like this young woman here and that eye is just creeping me out. So it'll look something a little bit like this. Uh, this is like the German flag and uh, I'll come back to this one uh, after we do this one. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up your picture in Photoshop and unlock it uh, by double clicking on the layer and then clicking OK or naming it picture or whatever you want to do and then you need to find the flag that you want to apply and we'll do this one and um, once you unlock this layer you should be able to take the move tool and drag it up into this file and then go ahead and drop it and yeah we'll click OK for that so now we need to uh, rotate this and scale it to basically fit on the lips so to do this um, I'm going to turn the opacity down of the flag to about 30% so I can see the lips and then I'm going to put this uh, of the Union Jack here I'm going to put the cross right in the center and I'm going to kind of rotate it and I'm, I'm hitting control T by the way for this free trans free transform controls and then the other thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger so it'll fit all the way across the lips and then I'm actually going to bring it down a tad this way we get more of the flag in the lips instead of just this big red cross part and go ahead and hit enter when you're happy turn the opacity back up and then you're gonna go to filter liquify and uh, by default um, this advanced mode if it's not checked on you, it might look like this when you open it up and uh, we want to actually be able to see the backdrop the, the the picture of the girl so click advanced mode and then down at the bottom over here on the right hand side click show uh, show backdrop and then with this tool right here, the very uh, forward warp, you're going to make a, a big brush and to increase the brush size, you can do it over here, um, but you can also hit the left and right bracket to make it bigger or smaller. And we'll do it about right here. And then, uh, actually, let's go ahead and hit cancel real quick and go ahead and leave the opacity down at about 40% and then go to filter, uh, filter liquify. That way you can see. Uh, what you're doing on top of the lips with the flag and all you're gonna do here really is you're gonna kinda shape it and you can kinda see the lips right here in the background you're gonna kinda just shape this flag to sorta just look like it's in the flow of the lips and um, we'll bring this down just a little bit move these up up towards the corners and uh, you can also use this bloat and pucker tool the pucker tool is gonna kinda pinch things like that and I'm actually going to kind of pinch this. Actually, no, I want to bloat the middle just a tad. And I actually want to pinch these corners just a little bit. And then go ahead and click OK when you're happy. Turn the opacity back up. And now you can kind of see what's going on. It's kind of going in the direction of the lips. And uh, go ahead and change this blending mode of the flag to multiply. And that, that, that basically knocks out any white in this layer. And uh, for now, go ahead and hide the flag and come back to your picture. And go ahead and zoom in here. And uh, take the pen tool and make sure this up here is selected to path. If it's selected on shape and you start drawing, you're going to see stuff and you don't want that. You just want the path itself. And um, by the way, if you're new to the pen tool, I do have a pen tool tutorial on my channel. And what you're going to do is you're just going to click and you're going to start making a path around the shape of the lips and it doesn't have to be perfect but you want to try to get it as close as possible and don't forget that when women wear their lipsticks it's pretty much gonna come right along the line of this as you can see in this picture with this lip gloss so I'm just going around with the pen tool selecting the lips and um, finish it there. So now that it's done, I want to make this a selection. One thing you can do is you can either come to paths and then hold con control or command and then highlight uh, the path like that and then do that. Or with the pen tool still selected, you can right click inside your path and click make selection. And I like this because we can apply the feather right there, which is actually something we do need to do. Instead of selecting this and then going to select modify feather, we can just do it with the path itself. So right click with the pen tool inside the path, hit make selection, and this is a pretty high res image, so my feather is going to only be maybe uh, two, we'll say three pixel feather, click OK, 
Uh, it just depends on how big or small your picture is, so just playing around with that. And um, from here, you're going to make sure your background layer is selected with your selection active, and then you're going to hit Control J or Command J on the Mac. And what that does is it just makes a copy, uh, a new layer based on the selection you just made with the feather. Now, with uh, with this layer selected, the one copy that you just made here, you're going to uh, desaturate this completely. And uh, you can do this by going to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and moving this slider all the way down. Or you can hit Control shift u or Command shift u Now, still on this layer, this black and white uh, lip layer, you're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. And what we want to do is we want to bump up the contrast pretty much. We want to make it pretty, we want these highlights to be pretty much pure white, and then maybe bump the darks up just a little bit, just like that. And by the way, if you wanted silver lipstick, there you go, you're done. All right, so now with this selected, we're going to uh, come back to this flag layer here, and we're gonna make a selection of this lip layer that we created. So hold Command or Control, and then click to apply the selection. Click on your uh, flag layer, and then you're gonna um, click this button down here, which is uh, layer mask. So go ahead and click that, and that basically knocks out anything on the outside by creating this layer mask. So the way layer masks work are uh, anything that's black is hidden, anything that's white is going to be shown. So if I take a brush with black and I start painting, let me turn the opacity, and I start painting, it's, as you can see, it's hiding uh, the layer we're on. Uh, if I paint in white, it's going to show it. So this is a good way to uh, take, let's see, white, let's see, uh, we'll do uh, brush with black, and I'm just going to clean up with a sharp brush, kind of kind of sharpen out. I'm brushing with black here to kind of sharpen these edges out because I want this to be sharp. So basically, what happened is my feather was a little bit too much. I should have stuck to like two or one pixel because it just looks too uh, just looks too feathered out. It almost looks fake. It's not as sharp as it should be. So. Um, We'll brush this out. And then this is also a good way if you kind of messed up on your selection. So you see the pink here. Uh, we can brush in white and reveal like so with a softer brush. We'll just kind of brush some of the edges out here. And there we go. Okay, so now um, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and hide this layer and this layer and I'm going to come back to my original blank layer or my original uh, background layer and I'm going to go to select color range and then I'm going to select the widest highlight I can see which is probably about right here and I'm going to bump the fuzziness up pretty much all the way yeah we'll do it around like this much and click OK and then you're going to create a new layer on top of everything else that's just blank and you're going to take a uh, white soft brush and you're just going to brush in uh, the highlights that have been selected for you here, like so. And then you're going to hit Command-D or Control-D to deselect. And now what you can see, what it did is it basically, inside of that selection with Feather, it's your brush is pretty much restricted to that area. And then you can see what that did is it basically gave us some highlights. Now, these highlights are like, way too harsh for me so I'm going to turn the opacity down to about 50 percent and because what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same thing we're going to hide all the other ones we're going to come back to the background layer go to select color range again select the widest highlight but this time we're going to turn the fuzziness is down as low as it can go until you see some highlights so you can see here it's too low I don't see any highlight revealed and then right about there I see it so that's the widest highlight and then so are these little bits right here so do the same thing create another new blank layer take a white brush and go ahead and brush in solid white on just the parts on the lips you don't want to brush any of this with white once again command D or control D to deselect so now those are much uh, more bright highlights that's where we want it to be pretty much pure white and we don't have to mess with the opacity on that and um, that is pretty much it. Um, obviously, you would want to take a little bit more time and really refine uh, the, the way these edges are. And uh, one last thing I like to do is um, on the actual 
flag layer. I like to bump the opacity down just maybe 5% because you see it looks a little more natural. This is 100. Um, bumping it down to maybe 95 just looks a little bit more realistic. So that's really about it. So let me come over here to this one. Um, and just to show you, you can actually switch out the flags without having to do all the other steps. So it would be nice to actually save your Photoshop document with this already done if you want to just change the flags out. So I did the same same exact uh, steps on this one, except I used the German flag. So let's say we wanted this same thing to be an American flag. All you have to do is bring in your new flag. Let me go ahead and hide the German flag. And uh, let's bump or let's actually go ahead and hide uh, all this other stuff except for the flag and uh, just basically kind of repeat the same steps uh, the initial f um, you know applying the uh, warp and the liquify of the flag so let's do about right there and then we'll go to filter li liquify um, actually we want to go to if you do this it's going to apply the last liquify you did we actually want to come down to the real liquify and uh, do the same thing real quick. Just apply uh, some movement in here. And if it's too hard to see, you can go back and just change the opacity of the flag. Give yourself more visibility in here to work with. Click OK. Turn the opacity all the way back up. Switch it to multiply. And now all you have to do is here's that white layer hold command or control select it come to your american flag apply the uh... layer mask and then turn on your highlights that you already did and there you go now she has american lips and once again i like to bump down the flag just a little bit you know this is obviously like that's too much and then this is too harsh i like to bump it down just by like you know five to ten percent just depends on how high contrast the picture is. So this one's maybe like 90%. Looks kind of good to me. So, yep, that's it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.